Heard you the first time. I know y'all in there, I'd go. I can feel your dress seeping through the door. Yeah, my landlady. Maybe she didn't see me. I gotta find a new place with a peephole. And a back exit. And a moat. And a better looking landlady. Oscar, I can hear every word you're saying. Open up, or I'll break this door down and charge you for the damages. Hey, baby, you looking good. Those algae treatments are really working out. That crusty thing around your eyes almost cleared up. Don't try to sweet talk me, you greasy, bubbly little freeloader. You owe me three months back rent, and I'm in no mood for your cut rate brand of charisma. <laughs> you crazy. I got a hot tip on a seahorse today. I can't tell you the name, but it's lucky day. When that sweet baby comes in, you and me are gonna have a nice candlelight dinner for two. We'll get us some escargot, and maybe a harpist off in the corner. Really pretty. Gorgeous even. Her shapely white scales, glistening like molten fur. Oscar, I have had it up to here with you. You are evicted! Vamos! Or I call my cousin with a big pizza claws and I thought to show you what happens to those who do not buy moose when so instructed! <laughs> I like you when you're like this. Spicy. Good morning once again, Reef City. I'm Katie Current and you're watching C9 News. Not just Reef City's only TV news, but it's second highest rated. Our top story tonight, you've just been evicted. You're out of money, out of luck, and out on your butt. A uh, tail. Did someone proof this copy? Man, she threw out my whole CD collection. In music news, a rare collection of CDs was found by a hermit crab named Crazy Joe. He was quoted as saying, I got three things to say! Ha! 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 That's all, folks. Sounds like Crazy Joe. I better get a move on. You can look around by moving the mouse and swim by holding the left mouse button. Use the right mouse button to dart forward and smash things. And now here's Stan with the weather. It's gonna be another wet one today, Katie. Hey, sights! Just the fish I wanted to see. I don't have time for you, Oscar. I got important things to do. But but I'm important. Newsflash, Oscar. No one else thinks you're important yet. Don't take it personally. You just can't talk to Sykes until you get some fame. And as we all know, fame is strictly the domain of the talented and intelligent. You earn fame by doing jobs for other fish. The better you do, the more fame you'll get. Try right-clicking on this guy. That icon over his head means he's got a job for you to do. Job equals fame and fame equals fun. Or so we have you believe. Yo, Oscar. Hey, 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 what's up, brother? Give me some fin. <laughs> I get it, I get it. You want to keep things on a professional level. You missed your last payment. In fact, you missed all your payments. I hear what you're saying, man. And I'll have your clams for you by the end of the day. I offer my personal verbal guarantee, which you just can't put a price on. I got my orders, Oscar. I don't want money anymore. Really? All right then. Thanks, man. Well, I'm on roll. Got places to see, visions to be. Oh, you're still paying me back. In sushi. Sushi? Oh, I get it. That's a pretty decent comeback. Actually, wait a minute. Sushi? That's fish me. Ah, fins don't fail me now. <laughs> Stop the game! Woo! All right, before you go and get me killed, let me tell you how this is gonna work. You see that big shark back there? See that big hole in his face with all the white pointy things? Yeah, that's his mouth. Your job is to keep me out of it. I'm gonna be swimming toward the screen like this. When you see an arrow pop up, that means I'm about to hit something. Move the mouse to get me out of the way. 
And if you see that jerk trying to bite on me, move me as fast as you can. And pay attention. I am not gonna be lunch just because you saw something shiny across the room. All right, you got it? No swim! No. I know you hate spicy food. That's why I just chugged a whole bottle of hot sauce. Ow! Bitch, did it me. Oh, grab a bandage, walk it off, man. I'll wait. the roll, Oscar. To never try to collect money from those who can fit through tighter spaces than you. No. Ah, I'll have your clams tonight. Why I order? Oscar, aren't you supposed to be at work? Whoa, Angie, you said the W word. So you can't be bothered to do your job. That is just like you, Oscar. Come on, Angie. Pretty soon, I'm gonna be the richest fish in Reef City. Can't get into the details, but today is my lucky day. One or two days of not scrubbing whale blubber ain't gonna make much of a difference. Whatever, Oscar. Just stay away from Sykes today. He's in a terrible mood. I don't think I'll even talk to you unless you've got something really important. Hey! That crab pinched my purse! Don't worry, you pretty little head, Angie. Oscar is on the case. Wait! He might be dangerous! Crime Watch, breaking and entering. Angie's purse is somewhere in this warehouse, which is for some reason guarded by crabs with flashlights. Sentry crabs don't see well, but do taste great with a shallot cream sauce. If you stay out of the flashlight beams, you won't be detected. Avoid the barracudas as well. They're ill-tempered and single-minded and prone to eat anything they come across. Reminds me of my first husband. Guards can be temporarily distracted by throwing urchins. It's practical and fun! Except for the urchin. That bite out of my eyes! Let me get an overtime for this! Oh, boy! Science news, this is a switch. Swim over and right click on it. Yes, now. Update coming in. Yes, it looks like you opened a door. A slow news day, apparently. It left the purse just sitting there. <laughs> this will be easier than I thought. Okay, maybe not. There's gotta be another way out of here. I have to listen to 
Another one of those crabs whining. Ah, burglars don't taste like they used to. Wow, I've never seen so much chocolate. Just tied all his legs in a knot, pounded his shell in, poked him in the eye, stop. He might live. Really? Well, huh. I'll see you at work. What? You don't think I could take on a dozen crabs with my bare fins? Have you seen me dance? That kind of agility can be lethal. Sure, Oscar. Get to work. And try not to hurt yourself filling the soap buckets, Hercules. Yeah, well, what does she know? I could take on a crab, if I knew how to fight, and they didn't have those claws, that thing's a nest. Whoa! Is that what I think it is? Sometimes you find money just lying on the street. Go ahead and pick it up. Finders keepers. You can also pick up urchins like this one and throw them at other fish. Just press the space bar. Have Ernie check with Legal and, and make sure we can say that. Oh, and just a touch more paprika on this sometime today. I got bigger fish to fry. You need to earn more fame before you can talk to important fish like Sykes. Sorry, no such thing as a free lunch. Except for all those sandwiches lying around. Hey, look, a sandwich! You know, whenever I'm hungry or depressed or if I got a broken tail or a piece of fin missing or if my health bar is low, a sandwich always fixes me right up. <laughs> Gotta love them sandwiches. Evicted. There is a difference. Well, it just so happens my brother-in-law's got himself an empty apartment. You can crash there anytime you like. Wait, wait, wait. If your brother-in-law's got an empty apartment, why are you living in a trash can? Oscar, don't you question the way of the warrior? The street life feeds my kung fu and makes me strong. 
Oh, hi -ya! Hi -ya! All right, all right, don't hurt yourself. I'll take the abundance. A wise choice, Oscar. Anytime you want him, just come in and right click on me! Just giving it away in the junkyard. I need more clams. Sparky, I got a proposition for you. It better be good. I got some important things to do. I like you, kid. We got Sparky. He should not keep getting famous. If he was fast enough to win a race on my underground track, are you interested? How famous? Real famous. Just cost a couple of clans, a couple of five or so. <laughs> Price is up in here. welcomes race fans and thrill seekers of all breathing methods. The goal, get to the finish line before anyone else. If you're not sure which direction to go, just follow the handy signs or your swifter competition. Good luck and happy not crashing. I've been handed a special bulletin. It appears these lightning bolts are speed boosts. Hit them and they'll shoot you forward with sickening but legal velocity. It's a great way to stay ahead of the pack. All racers with urchins in their possession have been cleared by local authorities to throw them at other fish to slow them down. I guess that's why they call it underground. All right, folks, let's cut to the chase. Three, two, one, go! Why, I oughta. Away, tadpole! Holy simmer and halibut! It looks like the new guy's just taking the lead! If he keeps this up, we'll all soon be chanting, uh, what's his name again? All right, Oscar! Tuesdays is Lady 
знаю. Remember, Tuesdays is ladies' night. Get your own. Remember, sir. Tuesdays is ladies' night. When we say underground, we mean underground. In the front row, please turn his light off, huh? They're coming into the final stretch, and it looks like the new guy might just make it! And we have a winner! He's fast, he's furious, he's yellow, and he's standing right over there. Thank you. 
me alone, Asuka. I got bigger fish to fry. You need to earn more fame before you can talk to important fish like Sykes. Sorry, no such thing as a free lunch. Except for all those sandwiches lying around. Smells just like your apartment! Water. What it really takes is some smooth moves. I don't have any smooth moves. Sure you do. Everybody's got some funk in them. Well, except for my boss and the sea cows. Can you show me some moves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kids, yeah. yeah. I'll show you some serious moves. Back it up now. Give me some room. In health and lifestyle, dancing can be a fun and therapeutic way to stay in shape, but requires significant amounts of coordination, in addition to blasting that booyah flavor G-Funk while jamming straight up old school. Now, keep practicing. 
I'll catch y'all later. And tell all your mamas I said hi. So especially yours, Tyrone. Alright, bro, yeah, we'll goodbye. see you. Okay, goodbye, bro. Shiny has music on it and rhymes with CD. Who cares? Take this and feel that beat. Well, if it isn't the coolest boss ever. Not now, Oscar. I got way too much on my mind. I gotta skip town for a while, but a lot of fish here owe me some serious money. I can't just leave it lying around. All right, try this on. I go get your money for you, and then we talk. You think that I'm gonna trust you with thousands and thousands of clams? Um, yes. All right, you talk me into it. But only if you help me first. You better bring me at least 50 bags before time runs out or you're finished. Got it? Fish sticks! Hey, it's me. What could happen? Okay, I gotta grab enough money bags before time runs out, or Sykes is gonna kill me. some extra before time runs out.
many more of these I can find. Hey, Sykes, here's your money. Woo! Ah, well, this looks like all of it. <laughs> what did I tell you? It's me. You're all right, Oscar. So tell me about this seahorse. Lucky day, is it? In sporting and comical injury news, the pride of Davy Jones's ranch, Seahorse Lucky Day, tripped and spilled to the turf in the home stretch of the Reef City Derby, squandering a seven-length lead in the process. Track officials are confident no foul play was involved. Circuit spokesman Brillo McGillicuddy was quoted as saying, It's no big deal. Fish trip all the time. On a lighter note, in the aftermath of the race, a number of unlucky bettors seemed noticeably upset. Oscar, you moron! I'm gonna make you wish you were never hatched, you pathetic algae-sucking bottom feeder! Some less savory elements in the crowd even grew unruly as one poor loser was pummeled senseless by a pair of surly jellyfish and reportedly later dragged out to the wastelands outside of Reef City. Track officials remain confident no foul play was involved. He had it coming. Come on, guys! I'm good for the money! You can tell Sykes I'll get it! Soon! He'll believe anything. Just between us, he's not that bright. Oh, it's too late for that, me boy! You and us is going to party! All right, if that's how you want it, we'll do this the hard way. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I call this my shrieking wombat style. <laughs> you don't want to see my ball-peen tornado. It scares me just thinking about it. Good choice, boys. I didn't want to hurt you any more than you wanted to be hurt. I'm a lover, not a hurter. I don't know if I'm cut out for this, Frankie, but I don't like eating fish. What's it gonna take to make a shark out of you? We eat fish, that's what we do. Bada bing. Hey, 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 what's that? Hey, guys, now that we've established who's boss, I could use a little help with the untying and all. Look, it's like a TV dinner. You think you can handle that, Lenny? Make Dad proud for once? Sure, Frankie. Whatever you say. Okay, I'll get back to the reef, pick up my paycheck. Wait, I got no job. No apartment. And I'm tied to a rock in the middle of the desert. Now all I need is a... Shark! Ah! No, no, wait, wait, don't panic. I'm not gonna eat you. Fine, I'll eat him. And he keeps on coming. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. fishy. Hits his head and he keeps on coming. Hey, 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 Frankie. Hey, maybe you should let him go. Lunch! Hey, the 
you slow down, you stupid fish. I ain't gonna hurt you, forget about it. It'll be totally painless. Frankie! Frankie! <laughs> Say something, Frankie! Now I've done it. Pop's gonna kill me. Yeah, that's right. Try to eat me. Didn't know who you were messing with, did you? Well, I showed you. Nobody eats me without permission. Not gonna make that mistake twice. Cause I'm like, wham, pow, kathunk. And he's like, no, not the kathunk. So I'm all, how about a little on the butt Ha ha, give it up for the shock slayer. Woo! Katie Current here with the latest in unavoidable exposition. A local fish named Oscar has just defeated a shark, uh, that's right, a great white shark, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oscar, the fish of the city have begun calling you the Shark Slayer. How does that make you feel? Well, Katie, I slay sharks. That's my job. I mean, what else would they call me? Were you scared? Scared? <laughs> that's a good one, Katie. The shark didn't even know what hit him. I was like, you want to eat me? Come here, big guy. I got a snack for you. You're so eloquent. Now, about this shark you slew, aren't you concerned that his father, Lino, and his army of fearsome enforcers might seek revenge? His father? Lino? The Lino? The, uh, most powerful shark in Reef City. You know what? <laughs> I think I smell a shark around here somewhere. Gotta go kick him a few times. I'll see you later. You heard it here first, folks. Oscar the Shark Slayer is going to confront Lino and his goons head on. That was Lino's son? Now every shark in the ocean's gonna be after me. I gotta find a place to lay low for a bit. Huh. I seem to remember there's an abandoned kelp bed around here somewhere. That sounds like just what the doctor ordered. Behind those gates, maybe. Let me see, if I pull that switch... on a timer? And why can't sneaking into places be easy anymore? Well, I can't go back now. Gotta keep moving. Stealth-based gameplay news. This tuft of kelp is a safe zone. If you hide inside, no one can see you.
Okay, this kelp bed is nice and dark. No shark is gonna find me here. Except maybe that one. Ah! Please don't eat me! Okay, stop it, would ya? I I'm a vegetarian. Oh, whoa, I know you. You're the shark I met in the wasteland. You tried to eat me. I was trying to save you. Look, I'm not big and tough like the other sharks. Nobody likes me, and now I got Frankie killed. Everybody I know thinks I killed your brother. Now they expect me to fight every other shark in the ocean. I just wish I knew how to slay a shark. Yeah, well, I just wish I could disappear. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Okay, here's the plan. We'll stage a big fake fight in the middle of town, you make yourself look real scary and then take a dive. Everybody will think you're dead, and I'm a hero. I don't know, Oscar. You might be a little famous, but I don't think you're famous enough to pull off a stunt like that. Not famous enough? Exactly how famous do I need to be? You need to make some more friends. Advertise yourself. You know, once you got some more fame, then come back here and we'll fight. Yeah, all right, I get it. Just stay here so nobody sees you. I don't know, Oscar. I don't think you're famous enough yet. Why don't you come back when you have more fame? Sir, your condo is ready. My... My condo? I get a condo? Yes. Mr. Sykes bought it for you. Sykes? Oh yeah, he thinks he's my agent. Now that I'm all famous and everything. So, can I go up there? I mean, of course I can. <laughs> it's mine, right? Of course. It is a little empty at the moment, but I'm sure you can afford to buy some new furniture. Thank you. 
Oscar, what's happening, baby? Uh, do you know me? Everybody knows you. You're the shark slayer, ain't ya? Now, me, I'm an advertising fish. Work for Coral Cola. Uh, you heard the name? I've seen it around. Well, we're sponsoring a race here in Reef City. Coral Cola 600, anybody can enter, but we've got a special interest in you. I'm listening. You win this race and you'll be in all our commercials. I can make you a star. Welcome once again, sports fans, to the Coral Cola 600. This is Stan from C9 News. We've got some of the fastest fish from across the ocean gathered here for this momentous event. And look who's down there with them. It's the Shark Slayer. Gentlefish, start your tail fins. You want a piece of meat? The Shark Slayer has fallen to last place already. Could he be planning an amazing come from behind victory? starting to pull ahead, but can he make it all the way? Wow, did you catch that? They're entering the second lap. This is the final lap. Let's hear it!
approaching the finish line. How you like that, Mr. Advertising Dude? Yeah, I say this every day, but this time, I kinda mean it. You got the goods. That's what I'm talking about. Now all we need you to do is hold a can of Coral Cola in your hand so the camera can read the label. Uh, what's a hand? Yo, photographer! Are those all pictures of me? Yes, sir! I'm headed to the newspaper office right now! You're on tomorrow's front page. Cool, but you're not gonna drop any this time, are you? Sir, I am a professional. I do not drop things. I'll uh, forgive your insult in the name of uh, comedic timing. <sighs> okay, this fool is dropping my pictures all over the city. Now, I gotta follow him around and pick him up before he gets to the newspaper office, or we'll lose all the... Why am I just screwing around? I need to find that dude and pick up my picture! Quit dropping pictures! You know these are worth thousands and thousands of words! Hey, stop! Hey, Droppy, I like that one. Yo, hold up, Flash, bro. You're dropping stuff. Man, look at these. He's dropping all the good ones. That's what I'm talking about! Star power right there! Ha! <laughs> I told you I'd get them all. These celebrities just don't listen. Uh, yeah, good story. Hey, Sykes! We're cool now, right? I mean, you're not mad or anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. So what's the plan? I gotta get famous and I gotta get there fast. Get in line, Oscar. Advertising costs money. Lots of money. And lots of people have lots more than we do. Money isn't everything. There's fame, power, uh, chocolate. Well, we can't afford to pay for any ads. But there are some billboards downtown that would look much better with your face on them. If you can sneak past the guards. Wait, 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 what? You want me to change other people's billboards in the middle of the night? Yep, cool. What? Looks like all these billboards have switches on them. All I gotta do is flip those switches and I'll see my face in lights.
Elevator! Fish hate elevators, and I'll show you why. My head! Now those other billboards were nice, but there's a big old screen on the side of this building. If I can put my face up there, the whole city's gonna know who I am. All I gotta do is get past all this security. This is kind of like, almost okay.
It worked! Ha! Everybody's talking about what you did to the billboards! You're not just a hero anymore, you're a controversy! Now, to get you a real bad boy image, we'll need you to rob a bank. Oh, no way! Trash your hotel room? Yeah, okay, Ringo. Look, I'm the Shark Slayer here, and I already got something special planned. I'll catch up with you later. a girl like you doing at a place like this what's that supposed to mean uh you know you just you know hey you want to come in with me no i was just leaving come on it'll be fun you can watch me get famous as fun as that sounds well you know what i think i will just to show you up prepare to be amazed
Wow, that was amazing. I am speechless. Of course you are. Now, I hope you learned something from all that watching and salivating. You... you hope I... what? I'm just saying, maybe you could pick up a couple tips from the master. I don't come cheap, though. Cheap? Oscar, you are the most self-centered... Why am I even talking? Goodbye. What? I just... Have fun, Oscar. And thanks again for yet another magical evening. is Katie Current reporting live. We've had unconfirmed reports of a shark. Dum 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 dum. Bum, 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 bum. Look, it's the shark slayer. Oh, I can't watch. Hey, Lenny, can you cut the music? It's creeping me out a little. Lenny? Shoot, you really are in a frenzy. This is the greatest news story since the invention of the aquarium. From this angle, it appears that the shark slayer has just grabbed the much larger shark and hurled him to the rift. That's right. You better scream. And the same goes for any other shark that might get an itch in his fins. This is my city. You want to sharkify this place? You got to go through me first. Ladies and gentlemen, this is truly, truly amazing. I am quite simply speechless. Cut it, I got a 340. Let's roll, people! How's it look? No, my dorsal fin, not my tail. I know my tail looks good, that's why it's insured. But we're on. Thanks for the heads up, Chip. This is Katie Current. We have just received word that Angie, the Shark Slayer's close friend and confidant, has been captured by the Sharks. Rumor has it that she's being held in Lino's old ocean liner. The Shark Slayer himself is going to investigate. A chip, see how I use the word confidant? Yeah, it's French. Oscar, you okay in there? I'm fine. Keep it down. They've got Angie in the kitchen. I'm gonna sneak in there and get her out. All right, I'll be out here if you need me. Yeah, that's likely. Whoa, better stay away from those blades. Don't want to be a fish puree.
always gotta swim in a stupid circle. <laughs> Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Stop the intruder! Trying to save you, do the right thing, work out my character flaws? We don't have that kind of time. I'm in the freezer. The door is stuck. Can you see any other way out? Well, there's a dumb waiter in here. Then get him to open the door. I wish you were joking. It's a kind of elevator thing. You can get to it from Lino's office. Oh, you meant that kind of dumb waiter. Right. Yeah, I was just testing you there. See ya. Oscar, get going! Hang tight, Angie! Restaurant. There's been a lot of unlucky fishing here. Hey, there's Lino's master key over on that table. Hey! Hey, over here! 
And I always thought it was just urban myth. swim in this stupid circle. <laughs> Piranhas are loose! I hope Lino has some repellent around here. If you ever find yourself being attacked by piranha, swim into one of these handy clouds of piranha repellent. It smells bad, but you'll probably prefer that to scores of razor-sharp teeth. Looks like the dumb way to switch is over by his desk. Oh, <laughs> the dumb waiter is behind that painting. Oscar, you made it! Quick, we have to get out of here. Don't worry, the sharks have no idea we- <gasps> Here she is, the main course. And what kind of a side dish is you? Me? I mean, yes, it's me, the Shark Slayer. Hmm, well as you can see, I've got your little girlfriend. If you want her to live through the night, you'll leave the city right now and never come back. Are you kidding? That girl means nothing to me. Oscar? Trying to blackmail me? That's pathetic. 
you might as well just let her go and face me fish to fish. Well, I would, but you see, my boys just found Lenny hanging around outside the ship. We know you lied, Oscar. You're no shock slayer. Go. You're sushi! Ah! Swim for it, Angie! There's nowhere for you to hide. He's right. It's over. He'll find me anywhere. I have to stop him somehow. Get him on my own turf where I can fight him fish to fish. The whale watch. That's it. Wow. I can hardly believe I used to work in this place. Just the other day, one of the whales freaked out on us and we had to pull out the whale trap. Hey, that's it! The whale trap! Sharks can't breathe if they can't move. All I have to do is hold him still. Ugh. But first I gotta get all these machines working. I think I can get in through Sykes' office. that vent and find the main power switch. I'm pretty sure I got mad fish disease. Switch, that's just some door. Time to get all the machines up and running. Ah! <laughs> 
don't get the brush. I'll have a nice shock in there for you soon. Now, Lino. Oscar, it's me, Lenny. Lenny? I caught you in the trap? Well, then where's Lino? <sighs> ah! <laughs> 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 as well give up. Oh, can't fit through the doorway, can you? You been hitting the buffet table lately? That's right. Think you can chase me around. I'm the Shark Slayer. Nothing can touch me. Woo, yeah. I showed that shark. Ain't no one gonna mess with me now. I'll get myself an even better apartment with two lava lamps and a big old tank full of the sharks that I beat up. And you gonna be the first, ain't that right? Lino? Now why would I go and do a thing like that? All you do is terrorize my reef and eat my friends. You're also a bad father to Lenny. You don't deserve to breathe. Breathing is reserved for the nice. Ah, Lenny's a good kid. He just needs a chomp to get him jump started now and then, you know? He'll thank me later. Well, I never thought I'd get to say this to anybody, but y'all got some growing up to do. Here's the deal. I let you go. You let Lenny make the decisions around here, all right? All right. I've been thinking about retiring anyway. Maybe a nice water park. Free roaming board, a couple of dog and pony shows a day. If I ever change my mind, I could just top the tank and eat some of the staff. Shark Slayer, you've just caught Lino, the greatest white in the ocean. How are you going to slay him? I won't. See, I'm not really a Shark Slayer. I lie. I had a feeling. You did? Well, duh. Folks, you just heard it here. The Shark Slayer, Hero or Braun, a Katie Current exclusive. Well, I think he's a hero. You know, I'm gonna have to tell the truth more often. Better. This is Katie Current, reporting live. Cut the camera, Marie. Let's show these two some respect. Some things are more important than ratings. Just kidding! <laughs> I had you going, though, huh? My agent thinks I can get into acting. I, I certainly have the fans for it, don't you? Can't touch this. Katie Current here reporting live from Oscar the former Shark Slayer's apartment. 
Oscar, can you tell us who you're wearing tonight? The city is a buzz with frenzied conjecture. What, this? This is all me, baby. Now, excuse me, I got some dancing to do. Right from the fish's mouth, folks. This is Katie Curran wrapping up the story of Oscar, slayer of sharks, friend of Reef City, and the fastest dancing fins under this or any ocean.
Finally, in other news, this game is over. Feel free to explore, replay the races, throw a dance party, uninstall, spawn, or whatever. <laughs>